So, we're going to take another break from talking about the narcissist today and talk some about the Milky Way galaxy. This is a very nice picture I got off of Wikipedia, a Ryan Spur article. I saw the picture, I knew I had to download the picture. It places Orion at the 12 o'clock position. And you can see where our solar system is. They're on Orion spur or Orion arm. And yeah, it looks a lot closer to the galactic center than I remember it being. Any way you turn the Milky Way, um, it still looks closer into the center. I thought that we were on one of the outer arms. People say Sagittarius arm. It seems like I researched this years ago, and it was the fact that we were on Orion arm. Uh, but if there's anything to this Mandela effect, I could have already moved to the Orion arm and not known it. Because, yes, I do have memories of being on an outer arm. And people say Sagittarius. I don't remember the arm myself, the name of it. But I do remember being on an outer arm. So here, are, here we find ourselves on Orion arm, or Orion spur. With a solar system, it looks a lot closer into the galactic center. Notice that orbit of the sun. That's called a galactic year. Uh, the, uh, the solar system is revolving around the galactic center in the galactic year, which is about 225 million years. So that's one galactic year. And they say 54 galactic years was when our Milky Way was born or came into being. So, one interesting thing is, if you take a look at this, if you were to move the solar system to Sagittarius arm, well, what that would happen is it would cause the sun's orbit around this central, uh, the galactic core or galactic center, the sun's orbit would actually grow larger. It would take a lot. It would take a longer trip around the galactic center, which would increase the length of time of the galactic year to go around the center of the galaxy. Now, it's interesting to think that on these different parallel Earths, they're just they're just in a different part of the orbit. So, for example, if the solar system were a revolving around, say, the 6 o'clock position, then it would seem as though you were on the opposite side of the Orion spur. That is, unless those arms are turning and rotating with it, in which case you would be in the same you would be in the same relative area That's an interesting question because the, the Milky Way is rotating and as it rotates, the arms are rotating and so therefore I'm assuming the solar system would be anchored to the arm. If in the event it just moved um, by itself through the arm, then you would have it would have a different vantage point and you'd actually set in a different arm. Um, but the length of the solar, the that is the galactic year, at any rate on Sagittarius arm would have to be a longer, longer period of time. And scientists talk about something called the axis of evil, like how the Earth looks like it's the center of the universe. Well, we've been to a lot of different Earths, or people who have been to a lot of different Earths on different arms, if you still have a concept of the axis of evil, 
it's interesting to speculate that no matter what Earth you're on, you're going to look like the, it's going to look like the center of the, uh, the universe. But you do have a you also have an axis of evil in so much as your consciousness. You know, no matter where you go, there you are. You're behind your eyes and between your ears, no matter where you go. And no matter what earth you shift through, you're still the center of your own consciousness. So that's another axis of evil. But anyway, yeah, it looks to me like a solar system on the Sagittarius arm would have a longer galactic year. 